In this drill, we work on backing up as well as adjusting the position to either hit cross call or straight down the wall. Use masking tape to mark the position for students to start. The position should be turned slightly towards the side wall, similar to returning a serve. The return of serve is also one of the most common positions where the backing off is used. In this example, the student's position is too open towards the middle of the court, which makes it more difficult to back off. To make it more obvious, mark each foot's position with mock masking tape. From the same starting position, students now have to alternate between hitting a cross court and a rail straight down the wall. For this drill to be effective, the same starting position is important, so students have to adjust their movement depending on hitting a rail or cross court accordingly. I have students focus on moving at the right speed initially, which is, gets them more likely to the right place. Students need to back up to the side of the ball to hit a rail and behind the ball to hit a cross court. Then they should also learn to back up far enough that they are able to step into the ball to hit a powerful shot. To back up, take a big step while turning your body rather than taking small steps backwards without turning, which wouldn't leave enough time to create enough space. The next focus will be a fluent racket preparation as you back off. As it is a very difficult ball to judge, quite often the racket preparation gets lost and only the backing off happens initially. Here you can see various degrees of early racket preparation, late racket preparation and too slow of a racket preparation. Ideally your racket prepares at the same speed as your feet move. It should be one fluent motion. Next, limit students to take no more than two steps to eliminate any unnecessary movement, which is crucial when there is little time available. The student's movement is still a little too hectic, which leads to little steps at the end for final adjustments. The goal is to move with the minimal amount of steps necessary at the correct speed. By repeating this drill a couple of times, students will better know where the ball ends up and naturally slow down through the better judgment.